Instagram, Sport Bike Track Gear, sportbiketrackgear.com. Today we're going to do a video review. This is actually our second piece on a very interesting protection piece from Liat. This is the STX Road slash Track Neck Brace. Liat has been doing this for a long time, this neck brace gate in the dirt world. The guy behind the whole situation is a doctor, a surgeon, okay? Works on that part of the body. He really understands this stuff. They've learned a ton of the dirt and they've proven the technology works there, okay? It was logical to move it from, from that type of riding over to our type of riding. And I think it makes really good sense. So I, I, I do believe in the technology, right? And they've proven that it works. And now I think it's great that they're bringing it over to the street side too. Anything that we can do to better protect us while we're out there is awesome. The reality behind this piece is if you're wearing this, it will become one of only two pieces of gear that you have on that has the potential to save your life. Okay? The other piece is going to be your helmet. That's already been proven, has the ability to protect you from a closed head injury, right? Brain trauma, right? No doubt that can save your life. This can protect your C-spine, spinal cord, which can in turn keep you from being paralyzed. It can save your life, right? So I think that's sweet. Yeah, it looks a little bit different, right? No doubt about it. I'll be honest with you. If someone could prove to me that taping a maxi pad to the top of my helmet and riding around could save my life, I'd probably do it, okay? No doubt about it. Anything that you can do to better protect yourself while you're out there enjoying your sport, pushing the limits, is a good decision. Sorry, I had to throw a little bit of humor in there, but I mean, you know, let's be realistic. It looks a little bit different, right? We'll show you what it looks like with a jacket on later. During our first video with this, we spent two days at Barber Motorsports Park with our friends from Sport Bike Track Time. We had a representative there from Leah, Terry Lynn. And she worked with us and worked with all the folks that we did the demo rides with. And in those two days, we learned a ton about this product, right? Some of us were able to use it. Some of us weren't. I was in the category of, of wasn't able to use it because the suit that I had taken down with me that particular weekend didn't allow me to wear the brace. If this doesn't fit right, all that wonderful potential it has to protect you and save your life it's out the window. Forget about it. Not going to happen. This thing has to fit properly. Same way for the dirt stuff, right? This isn't a necklace. This is a neck brace. It needs to fit properly, okay? What we're going to do in this video is I'm going to cover features and benefits with this thing, right? I'm going to talk about how this can protect you, kind of show you how that happens, we're going to use layman's terms. I'm not going to try and impress you with a bunch of buzzwords. I'm not going to, you know, baffle you with bullshit or try and gas you with brilliance. I'm going to use words that we all understand and that make sense to each and every one of us so you can really wrap your head around this. From there, we're going to talk about choosing the right size and show you how to, how to do that, how to measure yourself. And then, once you receive it, once you've made the commitment to, to get this piece, once you receive it, this isn't like a pair of gloves where, hey, you know, man, I'm normally a medium. I order a medium and most common gloves, I put it on their money. You know, you're not normally a medium neck brace. It's different. There's a lot of adjustment in this piece because understand the gear that you're going to wear when, when you ride in this has everything to do with how it's going to fit, right? So they put a lot of different adjustments in this. I'm going to cover those really quick right now. The first adjustment got spacer blocks right here. Three different sizes come packaged with the brace, right? 10 millimeter, 20, and 30 millimeter. Help dial in the fit back to chest. Second level of adjustment right here at the traps for all different shapes, all different sizes. Some of us have, you know, developed trapezius muscles. Some of us are more square across the top of the shoulders. What you can do there is if if your traps are a little bigger, you need the brace to sit down more, you pull these adjustment blocks out and ride without them. That's going to be different for everyone. And we're going to show you how to determine whether or not you would leave those in or take those out. Another level of adjustment 
is if you want to zoom in right here, Josh, basically you flip this lever up and you need a tool to do it. You're not going to do it with your thumb, okay, because it locks in place really neatly. And you're able to slide this aluminum portion of the strut forward or backwards to once again change right the chest to back. The final adjustment is done right here. There's a wedge in here that can be moved around to help dial in the fit of this. Once again, we're going to cover that in detail. If you decide that you want to buy one of these, watch that part of the video because it's going to be really key after you receive the brace that you go through all those steps and make sure that it's right. <clears throat> okay, I've already told you, this has the ability, this could possibly prevent injury, possibly save your life. How does it do that? What's the technology? Alternate load path technology. Simply put, when this thing is fit to your body properly and you're wearing a helmet that interacts with it correctly, right, and you take an impact, it can move the energy, right, from the helmet to the brace to an area of your body that can deal with it, your chest, your trapezius, your back, and it, and it takes the shock away. It removes that energy transfer from hitting your C-spine. So that's the whole idea there. Protect the neck, move the energy, move the impact to another area of your body that can deal with it and reduce the chance of injury. The directions that this is able to do that in are really simple. Laterally, side, side. Let's kind of run through one real quick. You've got your helmet on, you've got this thing fit up just right. Your head takes an impact on this side, pushes your head over. The side, the ridge of the helmet shell, contacts this part of the brace here. It's soft, right? So that in turn absorbs a little bit of energy immediately. And if there's more transfer coming, right, then it pushes down. It's going to put some load here on your trapezius. It's going to transfer load to your chest and load to your back and limit the range of motion there for your neck, protecting the spine. So we've got laterally, we've got forward, we've got back, right? And now we're going to cover two really key ones. That These are the big ones. These are the ones that usually result in big injury or death, okay? First one is going to be, let's say you high side off the thing. Up in the air, boom, you come down right on your head, right? Called lawn dart itis. Pretty common in motocross. What happens in that case is your helmet hits the ground, your helmet then hits the neck brace. The neck brace transfers the energy to your body in the areas that we've talked about, right? And it prevents your spinal column from being crushed. That's huge, and you can clearly see how that can happen, right? The next one is going to be taking an impact from the front that almost tries to force your head right off your shoulders, okay? Like I said, there's all kinds of cool buzzwords for these, for these movements. We're just going to avoid those. From the front, push your head right off your shoulders. Notice this ridge here on the back of this brace. The idea there is that as the helmet's trying to be pushed rearward, the ridge catches the base of the helmet and slows that process down, moving the energy to other parts of your body that can accept it with a far greater uh, far reduced potential for injury, okay? Like that, I believe it all makes perfect sense if you really think about it like that. So from here forward, if you've seen this first part of the video and you're like, you know what? This is something I'm interested in and I can see myself wearing this. What we want you to do is this, okay? Go to our STG website, pull up the Leit size chart, okay? I then want you to get cloth tape measure that can measure in centimeters, okay? Next, get out your riding gear that you're going to normally wear for your upper body, okay? When I say upper body, I'm talking jacket or suit, along with any protectors you would put underneath the jacket or suit. If you're going to wear a chest guard, have it on when you do the measurement. If you're going to wear a back protector with your suit or your jacket, have that on too, okay? Now, take your measurement, right, with the cloth tape. I've already done that for myself, and we're going to show you that next.